So guys, what's going on? It's Chris and Jack here, back again with a brand new video on this channel. And today, Swansea are back in action under the lights, where it's Tuesday night football and we're home to Watford. Now, Watford, um, bit of a um, tough game really these days on paper as well. But Swans lost to Leicester on the weekend and we need to bounce back. And looking at that game, I think... It's a winnable game for us, but at the same time, though, you never know. It's a championship. Watford can be a tough team sometimes. Last time we faced Watford, it was under the lights as well. The last game of 2022, we crushed them 4-0. Uh, yeah, hopefully, it'll be the same tonight. It'll be a good way to bounce back from a lesser defeat. But, yeah, no matter what the score is, I'd like to see us bounce back from their lesser defeat. Although, we did play well against Leicester City. But if we play like we did against Leicester, I think we'll get the three points this time. As long as we play like that, every match day, I'm fine. But... Yeah, let's bounce back. Come on, Swans. So, just seen the team now. We made a few changes from the lesser loss. Christian Pedersen comes back into the squad. We starts left back. House and Ashby starts a wing back. Josh Key is out injured, unfortunately. So, yeah, Charlie Patino's been rested as well. We haven't got much of an experience bench. We've got um, Sam Parker, who is 17 years old, on it, I have to believe. He's on the bench. We've got Cameron Congreve, who's been out of favour for a long time. He's back on the bench as well. Um, and yeah, interesting to see how it goes, but hopefully the bounce back can come this evening. Right, pure SCFC vlogs, Jake and Luke. Um, what do you think tonight against Watford? Yeah, I mean, I think we'll return to winning ways. Um, I know it was a disappointing defeat, but at the same time, I don't expect it to yeah, I think we'll return to winning ways. I'm going to say it's going to be 3 one I'm going to go with uh, a spray and a score for the one. I'm going to score for the score. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel the game. Uh, I think it's actually. Uh, Watford having on the best form this season. Obviously, lost to Leicester on Saturday. But we played very well in that game, nonetheless. So, I, I think I'm actually going for a Swansea City 4-1. I think we'll get a lot of goals in this game. I think, I think it's that time. Obviously, we got 4-1 against Watford last season as well. Yeah, so, we've been in 4-0 in the last game, 2022, didn't we? Yeah, so I think we've been 4-1 Swans. Um, yeah, for Watford, I'm going to put up a first player as well. And then for us, we'll go for Jamalo to get the break. Yeah. I think Jerry will get a goal. And I believe the end of the game will get a goal. Alright, cheers, nice one. Oh, fireworks going off. 17 up the floor. Hey! hey. Hit it. Yes! Oh! So close. Go on. Oh? Yes! Oh! Still in. Good. Still in. Go on. So, half time, the Swansea off on saying Swansea nil, Watford nil. Not been a good game, really. Bit dull. I mean, it's 50 50 as well. Both teams had chances. Matt Grimes had a strike that was well saved by Daniel Bachman. Carl Rushworth has had a bit of work to do as well, making a couple of good saves. But yeah, 50 50 so far, but it's not been a good game in particular. Right, Luke from Pure SCFC Vlogs. Um, a bit of a dull half, really. But what do you think? Yeah, it's been shocking so far, really. Um, you know, I think the only major chance we had was that Mac Ryan was on the score of my game, to be honest, mate. Yeah, he but Cannon did well. I mean, Rushworth has had some work to do recently as well. Yeah, he has. Um, there was that bail chance at the end for Watford. Yeah. Know, that was a great save, to be fair. We haven't um, got much options in the bench. We've only got Ollie Cooper, Liam yeah, got Walsh, oh, and, on there as well. and Patino, in it. Yeah, there's not many options, especially going forward anyway, so... We've got two left wing backs, and yeah. Josh Tymon and Nathan Choi on. Kuharovic, is not on the bench. Um, yes. Josh Key's injured. Yeah, there's, there's just no attacking options. <laughs> I just had to know. No attacking options. We've got a 17 year old on the bench as well, and Cameron Congreve. I Mate, mean, that's. You, you know, Gates has some nice touches, you know, Lowe's done all right, but, you know, I think Pedersen, I think he's been shocking at left back. Um, yeah, he had a terrible back pass towards Bashir um, for him, didn't he? Yeah. Where he went I, straight out wide, didn't he? Yeah, I think Fulton's been poor as well. I think he's been sharpened, giving the ball away. Um, uh, I think Grimes has been decent. But overall, it's just, it's just nothing to shout about. Yeah. It's just nothing going forward at all. So yeah, for both teams as well. Yeah. Second half on the way now. Watford have made a substitution already where Ken Semmer comes on for Matthias Martins. 
Right, we're just about to make a double substitution. Ollie Cooper and I think Josh Tymon are coming on. Double substitution for yeah, Ken Sam is going to be down as well. But Jim Patterson's got the players making Number 12, way. Jamie Patterson. It is Liam Cullen as well, so we're going a bit more defensive. And also Watford have made a double substitution as well. I think Jasper Spree and um, Rejevic are coming on as well. Connor is capitalising it. Go on. Yes, Pedersen! Yep! Yes! Yes! Christian Fox! Oh, get off it! Is not count it? Oh, come on! Next substitution now, Liam Walsh is about to come on for... Harris and Ashby. So oh, they capitalise on their chance. Good finish as well to be fair. Watford take the lead, Ken Semmer. Good strike to be fair, but it's not been the greatest game to be fair. And I hope I'm wrong, but the way this game's been played, this probably could have been a winning goal. I hope I'm wrong, but yeah, of course Watford take their chance after the bad is another goal as well. Come on, come on! Oh, he's messed it up. Come on! Shoot, darling! Oh! Get off the platform! Come on! Oh, come on, man! Come on, last chance! Oh, my God, it's not going to come, is it? It's not going to come. God's sake. Appalling. So there we go, guys. It is finished. Swan City nil. Watford won. Very disappointed our performance, gotta say. All the pawns, I think we were second best. I think Watford slightly deserved the win more. But at the same time though, I think we got cheated on a bit because of that Pedersen goal, it should have stood. And I didn't see anything wrong with it. Apparently it was a foul in the build-up, Ollie Cooper giving it away, but looking at it again. I think it should have stood and if that went in and it counted well it did go in but if it counted I think we might have got a result tonight and I don't think that Watford would go with that but at the same time I can't really say anything really but yeah I think a bit, bit of both really I think it was a poor performance but I think we got robbed a little bit as well off a goal but yeah two defeats on about just not good really and then yeah, tough few fixtures. We've got Blackburn away this Saturday. Then we've got Sunderland at home. And obviously, Sunderland, we will be playing when we're back down there in a week Saturday. And also, Ipswich away before the November international break. It just doesn't get easy. I mean, that four wins in a row were well needed. We need to bounce back into Blackburn ASAP. Just wasn't good enough tonight. But yeah, if you want to see more colour, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications.